Do you find yourself constantly chasing after women, only to feel frustrated, unfulfilled, and drained? What if I told you that legendary swordsman Miyamoto Musashi could teach you why this approach is not only misguided but also detrimental to your self-respect, power, and personal growth? In this video, we'll uncover seven compelling reasons, inspired by Musashi's timeless wisdom, why you should never chase women, and how embracing this mindset can lead to a life of strength, purpose, and true fulfillment. Reason 1. Self-respect and dignity. A man's identity is built on his self-respect. It is the quiet force that makes him do what he does, make the decisions he makes, and form his future. Musashi, who was a ronin, a masterless warrior, knew better than anyone how important it was to respect yourself. He believed that a man should be strong in his beliefs and never give up, even when things get hard. To follow a woman, to put yourself down in order to get her, is to destroy this very basis. As Musashi saw it, a man who is after something, a woman, money, or status, loses sight of what he is really here for. He stops being the strong oak tree and starts being like a leaf in the wind, blown around by other people's moods. This lack of steadiness and panic is the exact opposite of having self-respect, taking away the respect that should be a part of every man's life. When you chase a woman, you're basically saying that her acceptance is what makes you valuable. This way of thinking is dangerous because it can cause you to be unhappy and always trying to improve. Musashi shows us that the only way to be truly strong is to believe in our own worth. In the Book of Five Rings, he says, Respect yourself, and people will respect you. This isn't just about how you act on the outside. It's also about developing an inner sense of worth that stays strong no matter what. Setting limits is another part of having self-respect. You have to know where the line is, and not cross it, even if love or desire makes you want to. Musashi's life was ruled by rules and rules. He knew that giving up your values for short-term pleasure is a sure way to bring shame upon yourself. When you're chasing women, you might have to break these rules, like giving up your ideals, ignoring your duties, or losing sight of your goals. Self-respect is also connected to the idea of self-mastery, which is another important Musashi message. He thought that a man had to control his own feelings, wants, and urges before he could control anything else. Chasing women is often a sign that you don't have this kind of self-control. It means that your emotions are stronger than your beliefs and that you value approval from others more than your own convictions. So, respecting yourself and treating others with respect are not just vague ideas. They are the building blocks of a happy life. Musashi's lessons tell us that chasing women hurts these important traits. It means putting our value in the hands of someone else instead of being sure of our own. Having self-respect not only makes us feel better about ourselves, but it also sets an example for how other people should treat us. Being brave and honest is what it means to walk the road of the fighter. Reason 2. Loss of control. It is important to be in charge in the art of war. It is inevitable for a fighter to lose when they lose control of the battlefield. Miyamoto Musashi who was a strategist master and a fighter with unmatched skill, really got this. He knew that control wasn't just being strong physically, but also being able to master your thoughts and feelings. This idea of power is just as important, especially when it comes to pursuing women. You give up power when you chase a woman. You put yourself in a weak spot where your actions are controlled not by your own will, but by someone else's wants and needs. This loss of control can show up in many ways, such as unstable emotions, intense behavior, and a constant need to be approved of. Musashi would have thought this was a very big mistake that goes against everything that it means to be a fighter. Musashi said that control is not about dominance but about balance. It's about keeping your center, or balance, no matter what's going on around you. Musashi talks about how important it is to keep your cool, even when things are getting heated. This rule works in relationships just as well as it does in battle. When you chase women, you let your feelings control what you do, which means you lose the calm, steady focus that you need to be in charge. 
Musashi also teaches us that discipline and control go hand in hand. A fighter needs to be regimented in what he thinks, does, and wants. When guys chase women, they often lose this control. In order to please someone else, you might give up on your goals, ignore your duties, or lose sight of your values. You're giving up the control that is meant to guide your life when you do this. Musashi also stresses how important it is to be able to take care of yourself. He thought that a real fighter was self-reliant, could stand on his own, and didn't need other people to make him feel good about himself or happy. Getting women, on the other hand, is a form of dependence. It means that you need someone else to make you feel whole, respected, or satisfied. As you want to keep the other person in your life more and more, this dependence can quickly turn into a loss of power. Musashi's lessons also tell us that being in charge means planning ahead and having a plan. A warrior must always be able to see several steps ahead of his opponent, figuring out what they will do next and planning their own moves to match. This means being aware of the long-term effects of your behaviors in partnerships. While chasing women might make you feel good in the short term, it usually ends up making you unhappy and regretful in the long term. You can avoid these problems and build something more important and permanent if you stay in charge and plan how you interact with others. So, following women is a dangerous road because it makes you lose control and can cause mental problems, a lack of discipline, and a dependence that goes against the idea of being self-reliant. Musashi taught us that control is not about being strong, but about having balance following rules, and planning ahead. By staying in charge of our relationships, we not only protect our pride and self-respect, but we also lay the groundwork for a life full of meaning and satisfaction. At the end of the day, the winner is the fighter who stays in charge of himself, not the battlefield. Reason 3. Attracting the Wrong Type of Partner Miyamoto Musashi, a renowned swordsman, believe that the people we spend time with can either make us better or worse. This principle applies to relationships as well, as chasing women can lead to the wrong kind of partner who is more interested in the game of chasing than in building a real bond. Musashi emphasizes the importance of being smart and seeing things as they really are, without any illusions. Chasing women can result in unrealistic representations of oneself leading to relationships based on lies and fantasies instead of truth. This can lead to extra stress and conflict in life, as it is more likely to be a partner who enjoys tension and power dynamics than a peaceful and balanced relationship. Chasing women can also result in partners who prioritize appearances, money, or social standing over one's character, respect, and beliefs. This can create weak and unfulfilling interactions where people value one for what they can do for them, rather than who they truly are. Musashi also emphasizes the importance of honesty and following one's own rules and ideals. Breaking these rules to please a girl can be betraying oneself and making people want to be with someone they don't value because they think they're easy to control or influence. Self-mastery is crucial in forming healthy relationships. If a man has control over his wants and needs, he may not pursue women. Instead, partners will be drawn to him due to his strength, confidence, and confidence, which are traits of a strong, healthy relationship built on love and respect. So, chasing women often leads to the wrong kind of partner who is more interested in chasing than in building a genuine bond. By being honest, believing in one's worth, and living by our values, we can find people who love us for who we are, not what we can give them. Reason 4. It's unattractive. Attraction is a tricky and hard to explain thing. It's not just about looks or charm. It's about a deeper link, a bond between two minds. Miyamoto Musashi spent his whole life learning how to fight and plan attacks. He knew that strength, confidence, and self-assurance are what make people truly attractive. The problem is that chasing women can make you look desperate and nervous which are both things that women find ugly. Musashi's lessons stress how important it is to be strong inside and able to rely on yourself. He thought that to be a good fighter, you had to be sure of your own skills, your own identity, and your beliefs. When you chase women, you're basically saying that you don't have these traits. 
You're sending the message that you need someone else to make you whole, that your sense of worth depends on their approval. This goes against what makes someone beautiful. Musashi talks about how important it is to stay cool and collected, even when bad things happen. Having this calm, unwavering confidence is what really makes someone beautiful. You know you're whole and full on your own, and you don't need other people to make you feel appreciated or satisfied. But chasing women often makes men act in ways that are not controlled at all, like being obsessed, needy, and desperate. Not only are these actions not beautiful, they also hurt yourself because they make people less interested in you instead of more interested in you. Musashi also taught us that what we do is not the only thing that makes us attractive. Who we are is also important. Being true to our beliefs, living by our principles, and being comfortable in our own clothes are all part of it. If you want to get a girl's attention, you might do things that aren't really you just to get her to like you. This lack of truthfulness is not only ugly, but it's also impossible to keep up because it takes a lot of work and often makes people angry and unhappy. Musashi also knew that attraction is about power, not the power to control or command, but the power to be yourself without shame or guilt. You give up this power when you chase women, putting yourself in a weak spot where someone else's wants control your actions instead of your own is not good. This giving up of control and lack of power is naturally unappealing because it shows that you don't believe in your own worth. Musashi's focus on self-mastery is especially important in this case. A person who has controlled themselves, who is in charge of their feelings and wants, gives off a quiet confidence that is very beautiful. This confidence isn't haughty or showy. It comes from a strong belief in your own worth that doesn't change when you face failure or problems. But chasing women often shows that you don't have this kind of self-mastery because you're driven more by your wants than your values. So, chasing women is not beautiful because it takes away the very things that make someone attractive. Confidence, self-assurance, and being real. Musashi's lessons tell us that real attraction isn't about chasing other people, but about getting stronger on the inside, living by our ideals, and being sure of our own worth. Focusing on these traits not only makes us more beautiful to others, but it also makes us happier and more satisfied with our own lives. People who are sure of their own worth and don't need other people to validate them are the ones who really draw the right kind of partner. Reason 5. Wasted Time and Energy Miyamoto Musashi, a skilled swordsman and efficient individual, believed that time and energy are crucial for personal growth and development. He spent his life focusing on improving his skills and learning about tactics, which led him to focus on his own goals and objectives. Chasing women can lead to mental turmoil, excessive thinking, and a lack of focus on personal goals, which can waste time and energy. Musashi also believed in the concept of motion, or the state of no mind where a fighter acts with full focus and purpose without distractions. Chasing women can lead to mental turmoil, excessive thinking, and a focus on others' actions and feelings, which can hinder personal and business potential. Efficiency in battle is essential, as it involves hitting quickly and firmly without wasting time or energy. Time is limited, and life is short. Instead of wasting time on someone who might not be interested or the right fit for you, focus on things that help you reach your goals and change as a person. Musashi's life demonstrated the importance of making good use of time by becoming an expert in various fields, such as swordsmanship, writing, art, and philosophy. Chasing women can take a lot of mental energy, which could be better used to take care of yourself, strengthen relationships with family and friends, or pursue your interests. Musashi taught us that control, attention, and getting things done quickly are important in every aspect of life. So. Chasing women is a waste of time and energy that can be used to improve oneself, take control of one's life, and work towards important goals. By focusing on personal growth and development, one can live a meaningful life that is more fulfilling and satisfying than going after others. Reason 6. Undermines Authenticity Miyamoto Musashi, a renowned figure in Japanese literature, believed that authenticity is a crucial trait. 
He believed that a fighter should be true to himself and follow his own code of duty, regardless of what others thought or expected of him. However, chasing women can make one less real, leading to actions that are not true to who they are and leaving them feeling unhappy and guilty. Musashi's lessons emphasize the importance of living by one's own rules and being true to oneself at all times. He advises against acting the way most people do, as it can lead to a relationship based on lies rather than genuine connection and respect. Musashi believed that mastering one's wants, feelings, and instincts is essential, but people who chase women often lack this level of self-mastery due to the need for approval from others instead of their own morals and beliefs. This can cause conflict within an individual as they give up being themselves to please others. Being honest with others and with oneself is essential for building a sincere relationship. However, when pursuing women, one might put on a show and try to be someone they are not to get their attention. This compromise of morals can result in a superficial relationship rather than a deep bond. Musashi's advice to follow one's own morals is a reminder that being real doesn't mean following what others want you to do, but staying true to your own path. Being true to oneself and living by one's principles and values will help build an honest and satisfying life, as well as attract the right people into one's life. So, chasing women can make one less real, leading to actions that are not true to who they are and leading to guilt and unhappiness. Musashi's lessons remind us of the importance of following our own morals and being true to ourselves and others. Reason 7. Abundance Mindset A prosperity attitude is a mindset that believes life is full of chances and that you can reach your goals without having to chase them. This mindset is the opposite of shortage which means being afraid of not having enough and feeling in need. Miyamoto Musashi, a man with a clear sense of purpose, believed that having a wealth attitude was crucial for a fighter's success. He taught that being self-reliant, trusting in one's abilities, and believing in one's worth are essential components of a wealth mindset. Musashi's lessons emphasize the importance of focusing on personal growth and development rather than seeking approval from others. An abundant attitude allows for more chances to find, make meaningful connections, and achieve goals without giving up values or being yourself. It also involves being open to possibilities and letting go of attachments to certain results, people, or ways of doing things. When chasing women, individuals may feel let down, frustrated, and like they are not good enough. However, having a wealth attitude allows them to approach relationships and opportunities with ease and confidence, instead of fear and panic. So, having a prosperity attitude is a strong way to live life. It involves being confident, believing in many chances, and trusting the process. Musashi's lessons emphasize the importance of trusting the process, working hard on personal growth, and letting go of attachments to certain outcomes. By adopting a prosperity attitude, individuals can approach relationships and opportunities with ease and confidence, ultimately finding happiness, success, and satisfaction.